11 Secrets to Memorize Things Quicker Than Others Have you seen the movie Limitless? <laughs> I don't know, I forget. If you have, you probably remember the main character who found a special pill that allowed him to recall all experience and knowledge and use it whenever he needed to. <laughs> if only this were true. We learn things throughout our entire lives, but we don't know everything because we forget a lot of information. Why does this happen? How can we remember things much better? Well, Brightside will tell you about some simple memorizing tips and a universal formula that will retrieve any information from your memory when you need it. For starters, let's talk about why we forget things. Your brain is like a hard drive. The space is limited. Remember Sherlock Holmes? He couldn't name all the planets of the solar system. This was not because he missed school or something like that, but because he was too smart to have such irrelevant information in his memory. He deliberately erased facts he would never need. This is what your brain does. It protects you from overloading with information. That's why all new data is stored in the short-term memory, not the long one. So, if you don't repeat it or use it, you forget it very quickly. A German psychologist, Hermann Ebbinghaus, researched the memory and its mechanisms. He described the forgetting curve, which shows that just one hour after learning something new, we forget more than half of the learned information. I'm sorry, what was that? Anyway, one day later, we remember only about 30%. Well, you can see where this is going. So, how to remember everything. There is a memorization technique called spaced repetition. To keep some information in your head for a longer time, you need to try to put it into your long-term memory. Forced memorization is not very effective in this case, because your brain can't make sense of the information quickly and form strong associations. Here, it all depends on the reason why you are learning something. How to memorize something quickly. The first situation is when you need to learn the information quickly, use it once, and forget most of it. This looks like a typical exam preparation, right? <laughs> if you've been in a situation where you had only one night to prepare for an exam, give this video a like. To memorize something quickly, repeat the information right after learning it. The second repetition should be after 15 to 20 minutes. You don't need to return to the information between repetitions. Just rest and do something different. Let your brain relax. Repeat the learned material the third time after 6 to 8 hours. And you should have the final repetition 24 hours after the first contact with the information. Try this method next time you need to memorize something quickly and tell us how it worked in the comment section. Don't forget. <coughs> Now, how to memorize something for a long time. If you want to remember things for a long time, you need to extend the memorization period. Here's the memorization plan. The first repetition should be right after learning, just like in the previous technique. Repeat the material after 20 to 30 minutes. And here, things are different. The third repetition should be only after one day. The next one after two to three weeks. And the final round is after two to three months. This way, you can learn something for a very long time because the brain thinks that if you return to the information, it means that it's necessary, so it doesn't get erased. Now, here are 11 simple tips that will help you memorize things easier and faster. Counting down from number 11, try to understand what you learn. You probably know the feeling when you're learning something, but you don't understand the information. Usually, such learning turns into a nightmare because it looks like learning a poem that has no rhyme. Another bad thing about learning something you don't understand is that if you forget some part of it, you will not be able to continue because you have only memorized the order of words, not their actual meaning. That's why we don't recommend doing it this way. What you should do is read the entire piece of information and figure out what the main point or points are. Try to retell what you have read using your own words. 